Hey guys, Theron Asbury here with Revital Outdoors, bringing you another exciting podcast. Tonight we have Mr. Carson Hamilton on our podcast. Carson got a top 10 finish last year at the BFL Archie Division event on Lake Dardanelle. That same event's coming up this coming weekend, so he's going to give us some insight about how he fished his tournament last year, was able to capture that top 10 finish, what he predicts for this year. You know, we're moving into late May, post-spawn fishing. It can be pretty tricky on Lake Dardanelle, especially with Dardanelle being connected to the Arkansas River system. Um, there's going to be a lot of fish caught. Uh, there's going to be a lot of water moving, so it, it could be very, very tricky. Uh before we get started, Revital Outdoors is very excited to announce we are still taking entries until our $2,500 sweepstakes giveaway for a lucky angler at the end of the BFL season. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is hit that link at the top of the description right below this video. It takes just a few seconds to get in, and I promise you, you're not going to want to miss this. We have great companies partnered up with this giveaway, such as Flambeau Outdoors, Costa Del Mar, Seaguar Line, The Rod Glove, Lou, Strike King, Tackle Warehouse. I promise you, this is going to be a dream package for any angler out there, so go ahead, get in. Take a moment and do that. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. That way you get notified when all these contents and all these podcasts are uh, hitting our page. Uh, we're having a lot of fun this year. want to say thank you to all the anglers that have come onto our uh, uh, YouTube page and this podcast. We've just been very, very grateful. A lot of great information. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. That's Revital Outdoors. And if you've never heard of Revital Outdoors, we are a premium CBD company. We offer premium CBD products to all the outdoor enthusiasts out there. Remember, our products are THC-free, made right here in America. You can check them out on our website and even purchase them directly off our website at www.revitaloutdoors.com. That being said, let's go ahead and bring Carson into the studio from the great state of Arkansas. Carson, how are you doing this evening, bud? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Really appreciate you taking time. I know you've got a busy schedule going on, but I really appreciate you taking time to come on to the podcast. So, man, let's get right into it. Top 10 finish, Lake Dardanelle last year. Lake Dardanelle is probably the most notorious tournament lake in the state of Arkansas. That's just my opinion, but I think a lot of guys would agree to that. So tell us a little bit about your tournament last year and how are you able to kind of put it together? Uh, Lake Dardanelle last year was, you know, you know, it's, the conditions are going to set up the exact same for this year. It's hot. It's a lot of current. It's unstable. It's dropping. Um, just they, they can't get the flow very – it's just up and down, no current, you know, it's like staying the same. So, you know, those fish get in the funk. Um, last year, what I did is I slowed down. I was flipping a 16 ounce uh, arc tungsten with an arc tungsten peg um, with a Cinco. And I was just picking apart the uh, willow, the water willows. And then the biggest, my biggest uh, key for that, tournament was lay downs any kind of lay downs uh any kind of little piles up on the bank and what i like to do is i like to get i like to get away from illinois base so i always either go down or i go up and when I, say up I mean piney up get up away from everybody because everybody stays in illinois bay and you know 125 boat tournament illinois bay can get packed so i went up there and it was a flipping bite i was flipping a um Yum's black and blue Cinco, and I was fighting frog, the uh, black sapphire, and the sapphire, and then on top of the black sapphire fighting frog, I was also flipping a rage bug and uh, summer crawl or Alabama crawl. With that had the, the quarter ounce weight on it to get down a little faster, but honestly, the best bites and uh, get more quality bites was three sixteenths slower, slow my rate of fall. Um, it was really helping on those pressured fish. I mean, but it's setting up. I would just look at everything. It's setting up with the exact same conditions this week. You could also probably mix in a little bit of a frog bite. We had a little bit of that in practice, but it wasn't real. You couldn't really lean. So I just kind of, it was in, in the floor, but I kind of just threw it down and didn't, I picked it up four casts. But um, with the, I went up and the current was so high that I was able to kind of, Trim the motor all the way up and ease my way into like a little pond, um, just like right off the main river. Uh, it was like a little current break, and I caught two right there off the little current break, and then just went back in there and I caught a four pounder. You know, conditions, but it was almost like this four pounder was still in a bed because my coingler uh, flipped in there and caught uh, the two pounder in the exact same area, the exact same bush, the exact same of the bush. But, you know, Arkansas River, it's chocolate milk. You can't see no beds. But other than right. that, 
Um, I would say the, most of the guys will probably stay in Illinois Bay and throw swim jigs because there's a good shad spawn going on right now. The shad spawn was there last year, but the current was so bad that the grass, the shad were just, they'd move up and they'd move back off, move up, move back off. You couldn't really concentrate on that. That's why I just want to stick with the flip and bite, three rods on the front deck, put a confidence bait in your hand, and just plug along with it. But I go to college, Arkansas Tech, so I live in the river, and that river changes, you know, day in and day out. So even if you find fish in practice, there's no guarantee that the fish are going to be there on tournament day. Yeah, absolutely. The other thing, you know, I, I went to school at Henderson State University, so I'm very familiar with Arkansas Tech. I, I got my teeth kicked in by Reagan Brown and Evan Barnes plenty, plenty of times, um, especially on Lake Dardanelle. But one thing I've learned about Lake Dardanelle is the Corps of Engineers, they love to shut down the water on Saturday. It's like they know what's fixing to happen. Yeah, they definitely shut it down on turn. Like, it'll, you'll be you'll have a good uh, chatterbait or crankbait, spinnerbait bite all day, and then it'll just shut down on tournament day. Absolutely. You know, in, in terms of last year, why do you think those fish were up shallow? You know, obviously the spawn's over. It's kind of a post spawn, but you think it was because of the high water. You think that's going to happen this year? Or, you know, typically we see fish in the post spawn. They're kind of going back out deeper. Why do you think those fish were still up shallow? Uh, they were blue grim, blue, blue spawning fish and uh, shad spawning up there eating on that. Kind of like you've seen uh, if you watch the Gunnerville event this week, those guys are up there catching those bluegill spawning fish. Um, mm -hmm. In that event, a couple of guys that uh, beat me in the top five, they were out on the shell beds out there in that, on those deeper post-spawn fish. But on the river, more than one, you're going to catch them on the bank than out there on those shell beds. Right, right. So, all right, well, great. Well, what do you suspect for this coming weekend? Do you think it's going to be the kind of the same deal? I know the area around Arkansas has been getting a lot of rain. Water is going to be high. It's going to be a lot of current. Do you still spec the same? The other thing I wanted to bring up is I've heard from a, a couple of my buddies that are still in the state of Arkansas, looked at some of the results. Weights are down notoriously in the last couple of years than what people are used to on Lake Dardanelle this time of year. Uh, why do you think that is? And, you know, that being said, what do you think it's going to take to win this weekend? Um, my degree is officially so that, going to tech. We study that body of water quite a bit. And um, with all the – water we've been getting in the springtime we haven't been getting a spawn and we're losing all of our spawning habitat in the water so there's not much bank grass and stuff this time of year so that's why the weights are down but here recently it's been taking 18 17 20 pounds i think it took 17 pounds in a four-hour tournament the other night um out of the state park i expect that this week this weekend it'll take Wayne Dixon might come in with 18 pounds. Who knows? I'd say 18, 19 pounds. Um, take 13 pounds like it did last year and take, you know, 10 pounds to get a check. Right. I think it'll be a shad spawn, swim jig in the grass, frog bite. And then I, I do believe that that flipping bite that I was on last year will still be there, especially on the, the late hard cover and the laydowns. That lake is definitely for a good laydown bite. Good deal. Good deal. So, well, Carson, really appreciate you giving some insight to Lake Dardanelle. Again, for all the listeners out there, you've been listening to Mr. Carson Hamilton, a top 10 angler from the BFL Archie Division Tournament on Lake Dardanelle. Again, that same tournament's coming up this weekend. Carson, before we let you go, I know you're an angler with Arkansas Tech. Um, you've got a lot of great family that supports you in the state of Arkansas. You've got a lot of great people that are in the fishing community in the state of Arkansas supporting you as well. Anybody you'd like to give a shout out to before we let you go? Oh, yes. I'd like to um, any of the guys that are in uh, Dardanelle this fish in the tournament, if you have any boat problems or need any tackle, make sure you stop by and see Aaron at Horizon Track Marine. And uh, I'd like to thank Blazer, Yamaha, and all the great sponsors that are behind me. Good deal. So, well, Carson, good luck to you in the rest of your 2022 season. Hope to have you back on here. That usually means good things. Uh, before we let everybody go, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you've been watching the rotating banner below this video. Hit that link at the top of the description. Uh, get in for that $2,500 sweepstakes giveaway. Again, that's going to be an angler's dream package, so please get into it. It just takes a few seconds to get in, and I promise you you're not going to want to miss that. From all of us at Revital Outdoors, thank you for tuning into this podcast. Be safe out there, everyone. Thank you to everyone that subscribed to our YouTube channel and come on board to uh, you know support our channel. We really, really appreciate that. God bless everybody. We'll talk to everyone very, very soon.